Franks. Today we're going to show you the correct way to tune both a front and a rear derailleur. First, we're going to start off with uh, the limiter screws, which are located on the rear derailleur here and here and are marked usually with an L for low gear and an H for high gear. I'll show you the symptoms of an incorrectly tuned or incorrectly tuned um, limiter screws. First, as you're pedaling and as you shift through gears, if the trike does not allow you to go up into a gear or down into a gear such as first, right here you can see that I'm trying to put it up into first, but it won't actually allow it to go up into first. That's a symptom that your low limiter screw is too far in. So what you're going to want to do is loosen this a little bit at a time and keep trying to put it up in You can see gear. now that I've uh, loosened the, uh, the low limiter screw that it's kind of trying to go up into first there. It kind of went now. It's going to drop back down into second. It's kind of going back and forth. You're going to want to loosen that low limiter screw here about another half turn three quarters of a turn. Now it should click up in the first. Now you can see it's staying in first. And it's making a little bit of sound right now. It sounds like it's trying to come out of first. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it off another uh, quarter of a turn. And now it should stay in first gear. So there's first. If you can go back and go from second to first smoothly, which you can see is happening here, your low limiter is set correctly. Now, if you go too far, if you loosen the low limiter screw too far, then the, uh, the chain is actually going to come off of first gear and fall between the cassette and the spokes. That can cause severe damage, rip your derailleur off, chew things up really bad. So you want to be sure not to back it off too far or else you'll have the chain fall down in between the, the uh, gears and your uh, spokes. Again, a very bad thing. Now we'll go to the other side and uh, set the limiter screw on the high end, which is the big gears. And you'll notice when I shift down into this gear, or shift, try and go down into ninth on this, you'll notice that it stopped at eight, and you can hear, hear it making quite a bit of noise there. What you're gonna wanna do is do the same thing you did with the, same thing you did with the, the bigger gear um, on the high end, the high being the high gear, which is, again is the smallest gear. You're going to want to back that off a little bit at a time until you get it to drop into ninth gear. back it off just a little bit more. And you can see now that it goes smoothly from 8th to ninth, back and forth fairly smoothly and is working correctly. Now the other, uh, other symptoms you'll have of an uh, improperly tuned uh, cassette or rear derailleur is when you get it, uh, get gears hopping from gear to gear in the back. Let me see if I can replicate. Okay, now right here, you can kind of hear it popping, making some sounds. Um, you'll also notice that it doesn't really want to stay on one gear or another. Right now we're in first, second, third, fourth. We're in fourth gear. Um, it's hopping between uh, fourth and third doesn't really want to stick in either one of them. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, look up on your shifter 
find out what gear the shifter selector is saying. This is saying it should be in fourth. So go ahead and find this one, or you're gonna wanna tune, this is called a barrel adjuster here. You're gonna wanna tune the barrel adjuster. It twists in and out, and as it twists in and out, it pulls the cable longer and shorter, which will then adjust the rear derailleur. Um, I will add as well, um, the rear derailleur is on the uh, right side of the trike where the front derailleur is on the left side of the trike. Um, so as you, as you spin this is, again, you're getting a little bit more pops, things like that. You're gonna wanna spin this until you stop hearing pops and clunks and things like that. And then uh, try shifting it all, all the way through all the gears. You're gonna wanna go back up into first, click it down into second, then click it down into third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way through all the gears until you see it go down into ninth and stick down into ninth really well. And then you're gonna wanna do the opposite, go through all the gears so forth in the opposite direction and if it if it hangs up in any one of those gears just repeat the process find out what gear the uh, the shifter says you're supposed to be in and then find out what gear it's actually in and then tune it with the barrel adjuster from there to get it in the correct position then we'll move on to the front derailleur the front derailleur is very similar to the rear derailleur the front derailleur is going to have two screws one again is going to be the high limiter, uh, one's gonna be the low limiter. The nice thing about uh, front derailers, and I, this is on most front derailers, um, usually the, uh, the one that, the screw that's on the outside is going to be the one that tunes the gear on the outside, and the one that's on the inside is gonna tune the gear on the inside. So, loosening and tightening this, as you tighten this, it's going to kick it out farther, or the one on the bottom, if you tighten the one on the bottom, it's gonna push it in or push it out on the bottom gear. And then the same with this, uh, the one on the outside. And on most derailers, on this one it isn't, but on most derailers they are marked a high and low or an H and an L. Um, so this, uh, this gear, or excuse me, this skew, uh, screw will adjust the outside. And um, I'll give you a symptom of a screw that's over tightened or too far in on the, hard, uh, on the high side as you try and shift it up into um, up into third, if it's incorrectly tuned. You're going to get a symptom that looks kind of like this when you're trying to get it up into the high gear, but it just doesn't want to, it wants to stick around in that in the second gear. What you're gonna wanna do is just loosen this one as well, little bits at a time until it eventually wants to click up. Right now you can kind of hear it rattling. It's kind of halfway there. Yeah, loosen this up about another full turn and then click it hard again. It should go up into its biggest gear. You've seen that it went up in its biggest gear uh, there, really smooth. Um, go back and forth from the middle gear to the biggest gear. And then uh, you want to repeat the process on the low side. Stick it in the, in the middle gear and shift it from the low up to the medium or the middle, back down to the low. And this one's moving, moving smoothly as well. A symptom of a, uh, of a low gear that isn't tuned correctly or a low limiter that, that isn't tuned correctly um, would look something like this, where you've got it in the middle gear. And as you, right now the, the shifter is all the way down into first, but it's just not shifting in the first. This one's easy to figure out because you can just keep pedaling and then release this screw as you're pedaling until it goes down into first and the chain isn't making contact with the derailleur on either side. So the chain isn't touching here and there's a space between here as well. So as you do that, you've got a quiet chain line, nothing's making any sound, nothing's touching anywhere and uh, you've tuned your front derailleur. So uh, that's pretty much it on your derailleurs. Uh, there are some other uh, fine adjustments that can be made to the rear derailleur um, using this back Allen here, but most of the time you won't ever have to mess with this. This little guy will, will adjust the chain, or excuse me, the spring tension on the inside of the derailleur, kind of bring the derailleur back, forward and back, but most of the time you should never have to mess with that guy. That, should, that guy should stay where it should be. So. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and call Utah Trikes anytime. We're here to help.
and we hope that you have good writing. Thanks.